Hello everyone. Uh, today's topic is insertional inactivation. Starting from a definition, insertional inactivation is a technique used in recombinant DNA technology to select the recombinant colonies. It involves the inactivation of a gene upon insertion of another gene inside in its place or within its coding sequence. Let us understand this definition with an example. This is a plasmid, plasmid vector PBR322. It mainly consists of three of these parts. First is origin of replication. Origin of replication is very necessary because it is required for the replication of the plasmid. Second is restriction sites. We can say the specific restriction site because these are specific for the restriction endonucleases. The BAMH1, PVU1, PST1 and SAL1 are the unique restriction sites. They are present within the selectable markers. Here the selectable markers are shown in colors. The blue color and orange color. Orange color is tetracycline resistant gene and blue color is ampicillin resistant gene. It means that this plasmid will grow in a tetracycline medium and ampicillin medium. Uh, now we will add the restriction enzyme which is specific for BAMH1 which will cut at that site. So BAMH1 will cut at this site. Then gene of interest is added. When gene of interest is added, it will form a structure like this. So the gene, so the gene of interest has incorporated in the plasmid vector. This is the gene of interest. Now this plasmid vector is known as recombinant plasmid DNA. Upon the insertion of this gene of interest the this was the tetracycline resistant gene so this will get interrupted due to the insertion of this gene so now the tetracycline gene is no more in function upon insertion of a gene on tetracycline region that gene is now no more functional and this process is called insertional inactivation Now here these are two bacteria. One bacteria is containing a plasmid having ampicillin resistant gene and tetracycline resistant gene. And the second bacteria consists of a ampicillin resistant gene and the gene having the insertional inactivation. It means it consists of that foreign DNA which we have inserted. So this plasmid vector is non-recombinant plasmid vector and this plasmid vector is recombinant plasmid vector. Uh, now when we grow these bacteria in a medium containing the ampicillin and tetracycline, they will grow because the bacteria have resistant power against the ampicillin and tetracycline. But here it has only ampicillin resistant gene no tetracycline gene so no resistant again against the tetracycline now bacteria will grow, grow in medium containing the ampicillin only they will not grow in medium containing tetracycline or a medium containing ampicillin and tetracycline that's all for today thank you guys please do like subscribe